Hello again, welcome back to Asgard and welcome back to ATM Spellbound. Uh, so today we are going to be starting into the Astral mod. Now this is a mod I'm not, I'm not super familiar with. I know it has to do with like unlocking your inner mind. I did have a read through this. Um, it seems like a lot of the stuff that's in the mod, it's not really covered like you know, some of these materials and things like that. Uh, but it also seems like the mods probably kind of work in progress. So it's liable to get more more content and uh, things things may change over time. But uh, we do have a quest line here. We're actually going to be doing a little bit with both of these quest lines today. But let's go ahead. Let's unlock that. And they want us to get snowberries and feverweed, which we actually have. Well, we've got feverweed and I've got snowberries planted up top. I've got a few of them up here. And I'm not sure if we're going to unlock more quests. Uh, now that we've completed that one, we do not. Okay. So there's only those two quests for Astral at the moment. But if we take a look, uh, there's the Potion of Astral Travel, and that's what we're going to want to make. Uh, I don't think we need the these other brews, but the Astral Travel, we're going to need to make... Tra uh, Traveling medicine or etheric powder. Well, let's go ahead and make ourselves some traveling medicine. Are you experienced? Okay. And in some ways, this reminds me, uh, just from reading through it, it kind of reminds me of witchery, you know, whenever you'd go to the nightmare or dream dimensions. That's kind of what it makes me think of. So, um, we're going to need awkward potions. Oh, and actually, I've got three awkward potions in here so but then we're going to go ahead and turn these into our astral projection potions uh, and then once we get them turned over we can upgrade the potion of astral travel uh, i'd like to go for the longer duration just the 10 minutes i think so we'll go ahead and toss some redstone into these and there is our astral travel potions Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pop out uh, to the ocean. And it was brought up in the comments by a couple people that those green floaty islands up there, that's what those are, is their astral islands. So we are going to head up. Let me get up to like a semi-safe spot because I guess it, it's just going to leave our body here, like our physical body. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and drink one of these. And we can basically set out flying. Yeah, you can see our physical body is still just hanging out right there. And I guess those blue bars are kind of like our time limit. Um, we move ex extremely slow. I think if we had made the like the stronger effect potions... Uh, we would move a bit faster, but uh, we can go through and we can gather. Oh, this is weird, controlling this. Can we actually gather these things? Maybe we have to send stuff with us. Because uh, I was reading the brazier, we can send things with us. Oh, we got metamorphic bone. There we go. No. No. Don't fall down. Okay, I'm just going to leave that one. It's going to take me too long to fly down there. There we go. Oh, and we got uh, metamorphic flesh and ether saplings uh, from that tree. Okay. I guess that's what we're supposed to be doing is just breaking the trees themselves. This is so, it's so bizarre. So bizarre. Now, I guess we, since we've got 10 minutes of it, I guess I'm just going to like fly around from island to island and gather up a bunch of this stuff. Uh, holding shift on the trees, we can break it a whole lot faster. Uh, now, it does actually keep our backpack on, so that's interesting. So we can actually throw this stuff into there if we wanted to. Um, hmm. Oh, there's one of those mushrooms. Let's go grab that. But that's an interesting thought. You know, back on Witchery, we could bypass a lot of those mechanics. 
with things like belts and stuff. And it seems like we could technically do that with Astral as well and be able to just basically bypass the the whole mechanics just with a with a backpack. Because normally we would put things into the brazier from what I understand. It can't be like fluids and stuff like that. Uh, we would put them into the brazier and that would allow us to basically take things into the astral world with us. Uh, it's also possible that if we put uh, one of our occultism tablets into the backpack, then we could basically have access to all of our items and stuff while we're in this world as well. Something for us to consider, but at the moment I just want to get a little bit of these resources. I don't actually need... I don't actually need anything related to outside the astral world right this second. So now these metamorphic bones, we can make phantasmal weapons and metamorphic bone bricks uh, to make our metamorphic stone. Interesting. I actually wonder if we were to place these ether logs with the, the sylph. Oh, and we actually have access to our ender chest too. Aha! Let's go shear something. Uh, because we could probably place the leaves and have metamorphic flesh and ether saplings and stuff coming in. Place the logs like into the overworld and then have access to all that stuff basically just coming in naturally from the sylph. And then right over here it looks like we have some other kind of mushrooms. These are rust cap. So we'll go ahead and grab a bit of these. And once again, we could probably get the sylph to farm those. Yeah, I think probably going with a stronger effect and less duration uh, might be the better route to go because we move extremely slow and we probably have a lot more time than what we need, realistically. So, like I said, I, I'm not familiar with this mod. I've never played with it before. And uh, it is it is interesting. Now, we still need sleepless eyes. Uh, that may come from the other area, though, like our inner minds, or it might be that underneath the the island there. Looks like some kind of uh, cobwebs. Yes, yeah, so there's a few different things that can spawn on these islands. Crystal webs. Yeah, let's go ahead. Awesome, we can get those. And if we were to just break this without shears, what happens? We get dream cord. Uh, and we need quite a bit of this dream cord to make dream weave. To make comfortable cushions. This is kind of a really bizarre mod. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, it's kind of slightly bizarre. But I bet if we had brought it with us uh, through the thing, we could probably fly a broom while we're here. Uh, if we brought it through with the backpack and been able to travel like super fast and that would actually probably be a really good idea because the movement speed is insanely slow uh, through here but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and grab this just so i no why do i hit q at all the worst times uh yeah i don't have another sword that's fine Oh, it's actually draining my XP levels to be inside of those uh, cobwebs. So probably bringing a sword, maybe, would allow us to break these a bit easier. But I don't think, we only need comfortable cushion, like, yeah, just to sit in, in our mind's eye. So I'm just going to, I'm going to harvest up the bare minimum, which actually I think is still a lot. Yeah, like 24 of these. 24 of these things, but there's actually a spider. Well, uh huh. Okay, uh, I didn't bring my cloth with me. I'm assuming that it actually takes us, it takes it into like the other astral world. Like, if we were to. Uh, for example, go back in. We should still have it. And I think if we go into the other, like, dimension-y place, I think we still have that. Now, in order for us to actually get into the inner realm, 
Yeah, while in the inner realm, you have access to your astral inventory with the resources gathered from etheric isles and the creatures which live among them. Some resources can be transferred from the waking world via the offering brazier, but we know we definitely don't want to use these potions again. They're super slow. Uh, honestly, just a faster speed. I don't need 10 minutes. Introspection medicine. That might be what we're supposed to make for this to work. So let's go ahead, grab ourselves our introspection medicine. And let's actually, we're going to take our book with us. We're also going to take uh, our storage accessor. And honestly, I think that should be good. Now, if we eat the introspection medicine. Okay, there we go. And we have Astral Meridian. Now, we can actually fly around a lot faster here. And we don't have, uh, I don't think we have a time limit. I don't believe. But these Astral Meridian. Ah, okay, so we can expand this area. So we kind of have like a sort of a little dimension that we can use. Now, can we get, I wonder how we get more Keys of Enlightenment. Like if we wanted to. Just expand this area out a bit. We do actually need these for sparks of knowledge. So how do we get additional ones? You can shift right click with uh, them with an empty hand to leave and return your focus to your body. Sure thing. Maybe if we drink the medicine again, we just get 10 more keys. I don't know. Uh, but these, because I've only got the five at the moment, I'm going to put these away for the time being. And let's go ahead and just put these away as well. I'm going to have to go get more dream cord, of course, but. Yeah, and I think this is the only thing from Astral that we need, and that's for crafting the Spark of Knowledge uh, in terms of the ATM star. But uh, but I guess what we can do here is we can build, like, these structures. These, uh, yeah, these are the mental constructs. The garden, centered on the comfortable cushion, the garden counts the amount of natural passive life and water around you and generates a level of contentment based on it. Collect Astral plants of various sorts to maximize its efficiency. And this is kind of, I guess... When I was reading through this, it sounds kind of cool. Um, of course, there's only like two effects. There's only two constructs at the moment. Uh, but we have the garden. And so the more plants we put around this, around this cushion, the higher your contentment level goes. And the higher your contentment level, the longer that you're going to regen health when you're naturally regening. So like whenever you eat food and stuff. It's like little effects like that, which I guess carry over. I mean, it would only make sense if it carries over into the main world. Um... And it says it can assist with botanical magic. So I'm not really sure in what ways, but uh, still kind of a neat, a neat little concept. So I guess, which I don't have enough of that dream weave to make the garden at the moment, uh, but there is the library that we could do, but I don't have sleepless eyes. Okay. Uh, so really there's nothing that I can do at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead. And if we were to shift right click on those, we can leave. Okay. So out of curiosity now, if I was to, uh, let me grab this out and let me make another introspection medicine. I want to see if I get 10 more keys whenever I go back in. There we go. We do not. Okay, so I'm not really sure how to get additional keys. Okay, I think I figured it out. Uh, if we take a look at our advancements, uh, you can say there's... In different astral advancements like expand your mind by creating an iron golem expand your mind by unlocking the full power of the beacon expand your mind by traveling to faraway lands through the nether uh, stuff like that uh, cure a zombie villager um, i'm assuming that stuff like that we are going to be able to get more keys from doing that uh, so for example let's grab ourselves four of these and let's go ahead Get ourselves a carved pumpkin and if we make ourselves an iron golem now there we go okay and so that's going to give us uh expand your mind by creating an iron golem and apparently i summoned it in defense of a village which i didn't uh so now if we pop back through 
do we have more keys of enlightenment at this point? Well, no, not really. Oh, there we go. It must have just like fallen into our mind or something. <laughs> I don't know. But we can get keys of enlightenment that way. Now, I don't know if you guys know beyond that point, like how we would go about getting keys of enlightenment, because I don't know. Like after the uh, after the advancements run out. Because uh, we could maybe get a couple, but eventually we are going to run out because uh, it's kind of a finite resource. So, I mean, I think we got enough to do what I want to do as far as ATM stars go, but uh, it does seem like somewhat of a finite resource at the moment. Um, I'm sure there's a way to produce them, though, uh, because you do use the ATM stars to make like the dragon eggs and stuff. So it would be a little bit weird uh, if there wasn't a way to kind of replicate those. Uh, especially if you went in, you know, and just unlocked your mind early on, and then you were left with no keys of enlightenment. Uh, it seems a little bit troublesome to do that. Uh, so I'm sure there's probably a way to uh, create those to some degree. I just don't know. I'm not really sure how to do that. Uh, now let me go ahead, make another traveling medicine. But it's basically like the ultimate pocket dimension mod, I think. Because it seems like you could expand it to fairly decent size, especially if there was a way to get Keys of Enlightenment. But there we go. We're going to get ourselves a few... Where did the other one go? I should have... Oh, right there. We're going to go ahead and get a few of those. Let's go ahead and warp back at this point. And now we should be able to fly a lot faster. And I'm going to go ahead and put away a Steel Leaf Sword in here as well. Uh, so we'll have access to that. But uh, let's go ahead... drink that uh, now this time we're only gonna have we're only gonna have like two and a half minutes but we f do fly a bit faster so it's still like super slow but yeah I guess really I should have oh it does carry our baubles in that's interesting but yeah I guess I should have brought my broom um, if this one wears off I might try that but we'll see uh, now I guess we're gonna be looking for we can actually just make etheric powder with charcoal. Okay, the sword actually doesn't help. Uh, probably an astral sorcery tome. Or uh, ours, ours tome. Uh, with like a break spell would probably be the best route for gathering up these crystal webs, I think. But I'm thinking the mobs only spawn at night. So probably doing this at night might be a better bet. Uh, just so you are getting maybe those spiders to spawn. Because I think that's why we didn't see them to the very, very end there. Because I can only assume it's the, the spiders that are going to drop the eyes that allow us to make the index of knowledge here. So, okay. Yeah, we lost our, uh, we lost our effect there. I'm going to fly over basically to like the south side of the ocean a little bit. Now let's go ahead and make ourselves a piece of etheric powder there we go reaper creeper and what is this used for basically uh, just for potions of astral travel yeah that's it otherwise it's basically interchangeable with uh, buttons really yeah it's interchangeable with buttons I'm going to throw it in my backpack. Uh, it's about to be night now. Let's go ahead, drink another one of these. And we'll fly up because I'd like to try to find a spider. And we do need one more dream cord at the moment. But it does seem like the the little, uh, the little blue bars, they're not health. Because it just kind of wears off when the, the timer here runs off and it doesn't correspond to those blue bars. It may be some sort of like astral health, like maybe if we take damage, uh, it'll run down faster or something like that, but but I'm not entirely sure to be honest. But hopefully we can find one of the astral spiders and it won't jump off the edge. That would be good. Well, well there's one, but it of course jumps off the edge. Oh, they drop uh, Dream Cord. 
So if we were to make a spawner with these. Oh, and they don't actually fall. They just fly. Okay. So this is definitely the way that we want to farm dream cord and not breaking the cobwebs because that takes forever. Okay, we got that. Uh, but sleepless eyes. I'm not really sure where that would come from, to be honest. Oh, there's a... Baby skeleton riding a spider. Ah, now there's a spawner up here. I'm going to mark this spawner. There we go. And what I'm going to do is we're going to drink another potion. We're going to go take that spawner. I'm going to put our silk touch pickaxe into our backpack. So we turn, uh, we don't actually turn into anything. We're still just Asgard flying around. So, uh, But I'm going to take that spawner. That way, if we end up wanting more dream cord, we can easily spawn these ethereal spiders. That is assuming that they will spawn in the world without us being under the effects of uh, the potion. So, oh, but this is an ethereal spawner, spawner from Astro. Ah, we can't take it though. Okay. We could probably soul shard them though. That would, um, I imagine that would work. Uh, but in that case, we could also probably just pick it up, you know, with something. And then put that into our backpack. Uh, something like cardboard box. Of course, mechanism is not in the pack. So we can't use cardboard box. But, uh, you know, we could use like blood magic or something uh, to maybe be able to move it around. But we could also just get a spawn egg of them. Uh, I'm assuming that they have spawn eggs. Maybe not. Uh, because if the mob doesn't have a spawn egg, we can't do it with evil craft. Most mobs do have spawn eggs, but some of them won't. So, Okay, well, I'll tell you what I do want to do. I want to grab some of this ether grass. Like the actual physical grass itself. There we go. So we still don't know how to get sleepless eyes, though. But I'm thinking that all the islands that have cobwebs on them probably have spawners underneath. It's seeming like that's the case. And there we go. We're back over to here. So I'm not entirely sure how to get Sleepless Eyes. Because uh, that's the only mob that I've seen up there uh, the whole time is just the spiders. Uh, but at this point, let's go ahead and warp back home. We should have everything still in our bags. We do. And then at this point, uh, let's go ahead... Make another introspection medicine. And we did get another key of enlightenment. So that's good. Uh, if any, Like I said, if anybody knows how to get like more of those keys, do let me know. Because I, I have no clue. Like I don't know if it's just a finite resource and, you know, we wasted some when we came in and opened this up. But let's go ahead and pop back through. There is still some achievements, though, that we could get. Uh, if nothing else, you know, we still have to do the full power of the beacon and the uh, travel to faraway lands and cure a zombie villager. So all of those are really, really easy to. Uh, so if we need, you know, three more keys, that's going to put us up to 10, which is honestly plenty. But uh, I'm just kind of curious if there's a way to... Uh, get additional ones of those. But actually, I want to head back in. I don't know why I left, but I'm assuming that I can make uh, like a crafting table. I can. We'll go ahead and set that down. Now, the area that it covers is actually a pretty decent sized area, though. Like, that you have to work in. Oh, I don't want to make white wool. I want to make dream weave. I clicked it too quick. That's okay. Luckily, we've got plenty of it. Um, so to make the cushion, 
we're just going to need some kind of leaves. So we're going to go ahead and get that. And then uh, let's go ahead and grab some of our ether grass and some of our ether dirt. It's kind of weird because it feels like you're always taking damage, you know. But let's make a mental construct just because we can. And I'm assuming that ether grass will spread to ether dirt. So we're just going to lay that out uh, just to kind of detest it. You know, I don't really need a mind area. Okay. That does nothing. It just makes a cool little sound. Uh, let's go ahead. And I guess we'll place out some like mushrooms and I'm not that worried about making it look like super nice or anything. Uh, I'm just, I kind of want to just see what happens if we build this out a little bit like I don't know if we get like an effect oh that covers over the mushrooms that's no good but it centers around our comfortable cushion I'm assuming that's in effect I mean I imagine it's gonna take a lot more like stuff uh, to really like fully come into effect but then let's grab like potato I don't know. It doesn't really seem to. I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really for sure. And the documentation on this mod is a bit lacking. Um, but it is a neat concept. Like I said, it's very, very work in progress from what I understand. So, But we do have our Keys of Enlightenment. And then we do have those three other uh, advancements that we can do for three more keys. Uh, ten keys would be more than enough. Because we, I think we only plan on making like six ATM stars. And then I'd want one for a decorative thing. So really I've got enough keys of enlightenment at the moment. Um, but may end up, if we need to, we can do those advancements. But like I said, if you guys know of a way to actually just get more of these after the fact. Because, um, because it does seem like you're almost kind of limited uh, a bit as far as how many keys that you can get so having those for the atm star you kind of can't go crazy uh, expanding your area uh, but it is a neat concept having that pocket realm um, that you can customize so all right so now that we've got that out of the way what i'd like to do is i'd like to grab a soul gem we're going to be setting up for kind of the other half of this quest tab uh, to go ahead and get this in place uh, which is collecting artifacts uh, we're missing Flame Pendant, Thornton Pendant, Charm of Sinking. Of course, we can get these from exploring. Uh, but what I would like to do first and foremost, let's head out to the overworld. And let's fly out and try to find ourselves like some sort of a ravine or something. Uh, or at least come out a little ways from where we've like been mining and exploring and stuff. And let's grab our Spectral Eye Amulet just to help us out with this. Um... I think those are mushroom guards. But honestly, right in here should be good. Uh, and let's just kind of start exploring around inside of this cave here. A little bit. Now, I'm not entirely sure that this is going to work, but I think it should. So, we're going to try it. Right over there. You look to be like what I'm looking for. It's interesting they come in as blue. Yeah, that's a mimic. Let's go ahead and grab that mimic. And let's go ahead and kill that one. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure this will work because the, the mimic spawn egg is a little bit different uh, than a normal spawn egg. You know, it's not actually an egg. It's like a mimic. But technically, it has, a, it has a spawn egg. So, uh, we're going to try it. And it says it does come from the capturing enchant. So, I'm thinking it might actually work for us. So, let's go ahead. And we'll just set up our normal stuff. There we go. Looks like we got the universal attractor. Sounds good. 
Oh, and we got the vampiric glove, too, apparently. It didn't unequip it or something. No, we got it. Okay. So we'll go ahead, throw that in there. And there is our mimic spawn egg. And for just right now, let me go ahead and turn that off. Honestly, we've got plenty of nether stars. I won't need this running. Um, yeah, I'll probably just leave it shut off. That way we get a little bit better, you know, performance. But Let's come on down to, like, the stoneling spawner. Ah, uh, we can't actually... Okay. We cannot actually spawn mimics in that fashion. But what we can do... Alright. Well, what we can do, though, is... We can keep, if we need to, we can keep. Basically re-running our mimics. Like that. Uh, you can see that time I got Vampiric Glove. Uh, so that is an option for getting our, uh, our artifacts. If we need to do it that way, we can. Uh, but another method that we could do. Because <clears throat> they should all come from this method too. Uh, is we should be able to just make a lunium. Uh, now this is Sloth Gluttony Envy. Alright, so let's go ahead. That, 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 that. So four, I think. Yeah. There we go. Well, actually, I tell you what. Can we do this? Like, can I just switch out that and start spawning mimics inside of here because if so that would be extremely good yeah crystal heart uh there's charm of sinking so there's a quest out of the way yeah this would be this would be the best route for us for sure uh now it's worth mentioning um i think i mentioned it a couple episodes ago but you can't do dragons through this because it's the same reason that we can we can kill dragons with the dagger of sacrifice uh, the dragons don't actually themselves when they die they don't drop anything they drop nothing whatsoever but what they do is they leave their body behind and then you can harvest off of that body it looks like mimics are cheaper to spawn than the wither i was doing dragons for so long i forgot i totally forgot about the spirit furnace over here uh, now, granted, this Spirit Furnace is probably a lot bigger than what we would need for Mimics, but we should be able to easily uh, kind of just run through this. You can see I'm getting a lot of artifacts that we don't have. Now, I don't actually have this going anywhere because it's plugged up to the, you know, it's basically just producing Nether Stars. So I kind of got to stand here and watch it, but it's, this is the fastest route for us for sure. And we're getting a ton of artifacts that we don't that we don't already have. We need, what, whoopee cushion, golden hook, fire gauntlet, pocket piston, uh, cloud in a bottle, running shoes, thorn pendant, and flame pendant, and that's it. As far as what we're going to get from the us. There's fire gauntlet, there's pocket piston. Yeah, this is the way to go for this. So there's like a few different methods that we can do. We can't make a spawner of it. Uh, but that's fine, because we can put it into a Spirit Furnace. When in doubt, Spirit Furnace. Yeah, this would be something good, like, early on, because technically, I mean, you can push into the Evil Craft, the Evil Craft Spirit Furnace fairly quickly, and you could just run through and get all your artifacts, like, super, super easy this way. There we go. Oh, wow, you can get the beef. I didn't expect that, to be honest. Ah, it's too fast. I can't keep up. There we go. There's Whoopee Cushion, which I think is probably like the last one that we need. Uh, except for the beef. We did get the stake, though. The eternal stake out of this. Which, honestly, I wasn't anticipating that. But, oh, and Cloud in a Bottle. There's a couple of them. Just for good measure. Hiya! All the artifacts. Okay. Pure insanity. Uh, and then we can go ahead, switch that around, and we can start producing nether stars again. Though, like I said, I don't think we actually need the, the nether stars at the moment. So I'm going to shut this off. 
Uh, because I know we have 800 in the system, and then if we take a look, we have 13 stacks here. So uh, we do have like 2,000 nether stars. Uh, I don't know. I might. I don't know. I might let it run a little bit more, but uh, we'll see. Okay, now to get the, I think that's everything from artifacts. Now, except for the, oh no, we got the beef and not the steak. Okay, that's even better. That is even better. I was thinking that it was the steak for some reason. So let's just pop over to like, say right here. And let's just grab our smelt spell. Oh, that makes cracked bricks. Whoops. <laughs> I swear everything can be smelted. Everything in the entire world can be smelted. Ah, uh, this area is so laggy because it's right underneath the create area. But there we go. So now we have all of this tab done. You know. Uh, yeah, I like that method with the... with evil craft to be honest that's that came in extremely handy i've been working on the create stuff uh, as well a little bit so we'll be finishing that up here pretty quick but that does finish up that tab and that gets all the stuff from astral that we need which is really just the keys that gets that out of the way for us for in game as well so it's quite good and we're starting to see a lot of these tabs start to get finished out i need to I need to go make these <laughs> here pretty soon it actually it's not gonna take that long but i'm gonna have to go do that here pretty soon but it's funny i think really just blood magic yeah is just that and some runes all right because we've done everything else so yeah i might actually work on that and then i've got to make the living armor so that's no big deal i actually have binding reagents left over from master infusion stones so uh but all right so anyways with that we are going to end out this episode here uh next episode i do think uh, you know, we've still got a couple other mods to go through, but we're going to kind of pair them with other stuff as we're kind of working on a few things, kind of work steadily working our way uh, towards actually fully pushing into the ATM star. But I'd like to, I'd like to finish up the quest. So we will be setting up a little setup for Maho Sukai just to push through our Maho, get that out of the way. Uh, because I really, I don't want to, if we're going to be doing all these quests and taking the time to do the challenges and stuff like that, it's not going to take us long to do the Maho stuff. I just, I deeply dislike it, you know, but we will do it just because if we're going to take the time to do the challenges and stuff like that and actually finish out all these quest lines, I do, I don't want to leave it with Maho Sukai just, well, it's not done, you know, so we will do it. Um, so we'll be setting up a setup for that here soon. Uh, and wrapping up a lot of these are actually going to be really really quick like the tetra the create uh mana and artifice we're about to finish up blood magic will be quick you know and so on so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did as always be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out and i hope to see you guys next time so until then as always do take care stay safe i'll see you guys then